This kind of different works. Where briefcases are backpacks and bugles and knives replace pens and phones. This is a place where dogs become more than a family companion. He is a business partner. We all choose our path in this world. This is Scott and Angie's. Welcome to different. Welcome to simple. Welcome to the life at Table Mountain. Welcome to the life at Table Mountain. I'm Angie Denny, here on location at the Arizona Archery Club, one of Matthew's newest retailers. And as for Scott, he's hard at work at our Idaho Bear Camp. Wow, we've got an exciting episode for you today. We're gonna feature Jonathan Steffen for Archery Pronghorn. Jonathan won the Fantasy Hunting League pool and the prize was a hunt with us. But first, we have a hat trick from returning client, Shane Brady. He takes three animals in one day. Anywhere else? That would be a big deal. The day starts early for Scott and Shane, but what a day it would turn out to be. This is my, uh, I think my fourth time hunting with Table Mountain. I, uh, my first time out, I hunted in Idaho for a spring bear, and I got a nice one. And uh, then I came out for this elk combo hunt uh, three years ago, and uh, I've come back every year since. This year I came out with uh, my buddy Bruce, who I brought out the first year that we, we, we came out. Most of the time, either Scott or myself will go up on the hill alone to take a look. We do this for two reasons. One, it gives our client time to catch their breath. And two, we spook a lot less game that way. I'm down in here in bed. They're still out there. We're going to go up a little bit further, but they're coming our way. So. Nice. So first thing in the morning, we were heading in, and uh, Scott had told me that he had seen a couple of uh, shooter mule the other day before, and so we'd uh, glass and check them out, and uh, we ended up seeing a herd of elk, and uh, in the herd was a nice six by six, and so we made our way in and and tried to put a stock on them, and uh, we ended up getting in there and having them come to us, and uh, we made a nice uh, shot, and it happened real fast. Now that's a good bull, and Shane decides to take it. Now he just has to wait for the right shot. See, see that cow? Yeah. See the cow? Let's, let's just get set up right here. All right. The Life at Table Mountain is brought to you by Matthew Solo Cam. Catch us if you can. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Avalon Knives, never lose your edge. Closed captioning for The Life at Table Mountain 
is proudly brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. We want you to experience the life here with us at Table Mountain. And thanks to our friends at Havilon Knives, you can log on to thelifeattablemountain.com to win a free pronghorn hunt. Come live the life. Now let's return to Wyoming, where Shane Brady is getting set up on a bull with a huge harem of cows. Scott hits him with his Nikon rangefinder and gives Shane the distance, 260 yards. <laughs> nice shot, buddy. Thanks. Great shot, kid. Way Thanks. To wait, way to be patient. Well, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that, work out any better net. It doesn't. That was unbelievable. That's fun right there. I was worried he's gonna get over that little ridge. Yeah, I was too. I thought he was gonna blow right out of there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, all right. Did he go right down? Yeah, he looked like he went right down there. I seen a bunch of dirt kick up. He kind of yeah. reared up, went down. I could hear the hit. Shane takes the 260 yard walk to his first trophy of the day. But as you'll see, it won't be his last. Where the heck did all those cows go? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it's wide open. I seen him do a loop and they're gone. They gotta be here in the willows. They had to went down in the willows or something. Good. That's the only thing that would make sense. I thought they busted out this way. I did too. Well, cool. That's a nice looking bull. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Well, congratulations, bud. Thanks, Scott. You know, it's kind of funny. I stopped to look at those, uh, those white tails here in the meadow, and <laughs> just, you know, I just I happened to spot those, and we'd seen some elk, you know, during archery season right there. In fact, we killed a nice bull right. Actually, we shot him right there behind those willows. <laughs> a nice bull, and, uh, you know, so I thought I'd stop and look at the, and I thought maybe those white tails could be, you know, some cow elk or something, you know, and. And uh, I look out in the prairie, right out in the middle of the wide open, and nice little herd. Absolutely. I, I was heading for the other end of the ranch. I figured we'd have best luck there. And boy, first spot, you know, you shot a nice antelope uh, last year in the snowstorm, right, not too far from here. So some good memories in this little spot, yes, huh? It seems to be my lucky spot. <laughs> well, congrats, man. Great Thanks job. Thanks again, Scott. We'll, uh, uh, pack him up and get him out of here. I tell you what, our work's cut out for us now. He's a, he's a brute. And, but uh, great job, good shooting. We gotta maybe see if we can get us a deer and antelope. So, good Absolutely. job, Thanks good job, you. bud. Let's get our photographs and get him out of here. Scott and Shane come back to camp with the elk, and then it's my turn to guide Shane for mule deer. Yep, all in the same morning. It was quite the hike, but well worth the effort. They top the hill and see a bedded buck along with a smaller buck just to the right. The life at Table Mountain will be right back. Welcome back to the life at Table Mountain, brought to you by Scentlock Activator, ultra clean and odor free laundry the eco-friendly way. Now let's return to Wyoming, where Shane Brady has tagged a good bull and is now after mule deer, all in the same morning. Angie Denny has taken Shane to a spot that has produced many a wall hanger mule deer. It was a long trek in, but the payoff would be two trophy animals in the same morning, and that's quite the feat. 
The bedded muley is in the center, and if you look just to the right, you'll see a second buck standing guard. All right, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Nice job. He's a nice deer. Yeah. Look at that other one. He's not going anywhere. He has no idea what happened. He's going to come right back down. That other one had a lot of character, but I still think he's got a couple more ears to grow up. Exactly what we're looking for. Nice. Well, you've had quite the morning. Yeah, it's like been... a really nice elk this morning, and now a beautiful mule deer. Yeah, it's been a great day. It has been a great day, and you're running on how many hours sleep? Uh, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how it goes. It does. Well, he but we spotted him from a long ways up there, and walked quite a ways down the draw here to find two bucks bedded down. It was kind of hard to figure out which one was the better buck. I think we made the right choice. I think we did too. <laughs> the other one stuck around long enough for us to get a good look at him and I really do think we took the nicer one. Absolutely. Well, I'm gonna have the camera guy, Mr. Scott over here, take some good photographs for us. And then we're gonna go see if we can't get you an antelope. I'm looking Cong forward to it. Congratulations again. Thanks. So it was two o'clock and we had basically decided that uh, we'd try to uh, make a move on an antelope. In the morning they were, we, we had seen a couple of herds but no shooters and uh, we were kind of joking in the truck thinking, you know, wouldn't it be something else if I could get it all done in one day, you know, and we we're talking, you know, before 4.30, those kind of things and uh, we uh, went maybe another 25 minutes, a half an hour, we saw a couple groups of uh, antelope, nothing really seemed to be worth going after. They seemed to be real skittish, even when we saw antelope, they'd take off from us. And uh, we, lo and behold, we came around the corner and there was a couple that were probably six, seven hundred yards away and we parked the truck, walked in as close as we could to get a look at them and there was a shooter in there. I like that one on the far right, right along the fence there. I think that's the best one. Got a high pronged. Yeah, that's a good buck. He's head on, he's like 375. Yep. I think just wait until he turns. Are you ready? Yep. just a little left basically uh, we set up on them and uh, you know the we we're really worried about the wind it was windy there and and you know I thought I had a real good shot and and uh, I took it and I missed and and basically you know we stayed with them he went in the middle of the herd we uh, kept our eyes on him and uh, once he separated he gave me another shot what do you say it went under him look right behind him Left. Yes. See him in the middle? Yeah, right. Okay, yep, those yep. ones are walking in front of him. Got you on that one, so you're gonna have to adjust a little bit. Yep. Now it's time for the field tip of the week from Timney Triggers. For all you big game hunters out there who are choosing to shoot a fixed blade broadhead, it's really important to get to a, a pro shop and have those indexed to your veins. For fixed blade broadheads, you're gonna get maximum accuracy if you index your odd vein with your blade of your broadhead. This is gonna 
uh, greatly improve accuracy at longer distances. When you glue your inserts in, it's the time to align your blades with your veins. Thanks, Ben. And remember when you hunt with Scott and I in Idaho? Mechanicals are illegal, so get those fixed blades tuned. And that's your tip from the field, brought to you by Tuning Triggers. We'll be right back with more of The Life at Table Mountain. The Life at Table Mountain is brought to you by Banzer's Ultimate Rifles. Why compromise? And Tenzing, equipping hunters to go further. Welcome back to the Life at Table Mountain, where I'm on location at the Arizona Archery Club in Phoenix, Arizona. And I got a personal tour from owner Kenny Cachera. It's a great pleasure to have Angie here. I've watched her so many years and watched so many great hunting shows from her place. And uh, it's an honor as the uh, owner of the Arizona Archery Club to be able to show you around. We have three full-time uh, bow techs on staff all the time. Wow. Uh, and they do an incredible job. In 10 months, we have shot this many Robin Hoods. That's and pretty impressive. Yeah. Our main range, we have 20 lanes to 45 yards. Welcome, and like I said, we're honored to have you. It's really a, a thrill, so. Appreciate it. Now let's get back to the hunt. So far, returning client Shane Brady has taken a nice bull elk and a classic 4x4 muley. Now let's see how he's doing on his quest to fill his last tag for antelope. There you go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Dropped him. <laughs> Great. Absolutely dropped him. Congratulations, right. nice shot. Yeah. Awesome. That's a day. <laughs> that is a day. <laughs> That was a shot. Yeah. The wind drift was get, got it, you on the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. You start getting out in that range, you get some wind drift. Absolutely. Great shot. Shane Brady puts down three trophy animals all in the same day. Yeah, you don't have many hunting days like this. No, no. you don't. <laughs> and you don't take them for granted either. No, you can't. No. <laughs> it has a great shooting and a lot of good, good fun today. Yeah. yeah some great weather as well. Oh man, the. You couldn't ask for any better weather, and I believe it's supposed to, I think it's like a 60% chance of rain tomorrow, so that's why it's a little bit windy right now, is that it's blowing that rain in right, right now, so. And I have a feeling that we were told there's a big storm front coming in this weekend, so it's supposed to get cold. cold. I'm glad we got it done. Every every time timing. you show up, we get a storm. Yeah. I think every time you've hunted here, <laughs> you, we've had a storm. Yeah. However, he is our lucky shade. Oh, man, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. Yeah. You got a nice, nice six point bull, a real nice antelope, and a real nice five by five mule deer. What a day. Absolutely. It's been incredible. Yeah. Well, good work, good shooting. Thanks, guys. It's always fun when you come out. Yeah, I have a blast. I, I can't, always, every year, I can't wait for my <laughs> Wyoming trip. Uh, well, I'm yeah. glad you enjoy it, bud. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks again. Yes, you congrats. bet. Congratulations, Shane. That's going down as an unforgettable day of living the life at Table Mountain. Now let's join Jonathan Steffen as he sits over a water hole with his Matthews bow in hopes for a nice antelope buck. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm up here from uh, Fort Riley, Kansas, hunting with Table Mountain Outfitters, courtesy of uh, Angie and Scott Denny. We afforded this opportunity by Andrew Rodriguez, owner of uh, Fantasy Hunting League. Jonathan has his Matthews Z7 ready by his side, and he only waits a few minutes before the pronghorn come to water. A doe walks in and just out of the camera's view, but following close behind is a nice buck. Get ready, Jonathan. Yeah. Ah. 
Scott, my favorite person of the day. Quite a day, huh? Oh yeah, it was a blast. You know, you, you talked about the shot and I just want to go over it again. It went in back, but it came out right where it's supposed oh, yeah. to. It's a great shot. It just took just a few minutes longer than normal, but no big deal. They're a lot tougher than I thought. They sure are. They, they sure are. Yeah. Tell everybody how you got here on this hunt. Well, uh, Dustin and I talked about it a little in the blind, and um, while I was deployed last year in Iraq, we I started looking on Facebook, and I came up with the Fantasy Hunting League. And so then you won which place when you? Were I took fourth place. Fourth place. Yes, and in order okay. to come back out next year, I'm gonna have to get a first place win. So I need to That's stay okay. on top you of gotta it. You got to get back in there. Oh again. yeah. <laughs> no, well, I would say congratulations on the Fantasy Hunting Thank you. League. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this beautiful yeah, trophy. Yeah, I couldn't ask for more. He's got some great mass. I mean, that's a, a beautiful, beautiful trophy. Mm-hmm. So congratulations. It was great having you out here. Thank you very much. You bet. Once again, we run out of time. I want to give a special thanks to the Arizona Archery Club for the personal tour. Join us next week for another exciting episode of The Life at Table Mountain. For free information on how you can live the life at Table Mountain, call 307 632-6352 or log on to the life at tablemountain.com The Life at Table Mountain has been brought to you by Matthew Solocam Catch us if you can Nikon The trusted name in optics Avalon Knives Never lose your edge